Okay, so I get, I get a lot of questions about what Dad's VGAD is and what it's all about. It's about trying to encourage or create a way that dads can flexibly be involved in sport that they enjoy to play. In. We have a lot of challenges. We uh, we have jobs, we have family to look after, and it's not easy. Right? I find people in different parts of the country uh, that are interested, both from the perspective of helping dads get out and play a bit more sport, and also uh, you know want to play a bit, play a bit more sport themselves. Uh, they get paid a little bit for what they do. You know, they're never going to make a fortune out of what they're doing, but they 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 can see the benefits in what we're trying to do locally and, uh, yeah, and, they, and they'd like to be involved. So we set up people in different locations and then they'll try and find a big membership. Now, I know the way that's been working is it has to be a significant number of people involved to make sure that there's enough dads coming to a game to keep that game on every week because of the turnover. And there's natural turnover because dad can't do it one week, yes he can the next. He's got a shift pattern he has to, to, to work to, but he'll be there the couple of weeks after. Or he's got his, his uh, child busy in, in a sports camp for a night that he can't make. So there's natural turnover, that means there has to be a large group. So then we create a bit of a philosophy. So locally, in my area that we've been getting started, it's become a bit of a philosophy that yes, we're getting out and having a game. That helps me, it helps me get the game. It also helps other people get a game, right? So, not, as a dad, not only are you, you know, getting a chance to play a sport that you enjoy to play, you're also helping others. If you come to the nights, if you come to the Dad's V Dad Sports nights, you'll notice uh, cameras never far away. What we try and do is take a little bit of video. Uh, that serves a couple of purposes. One, it shows the level that uh, people are playing at, and it tends to be, you know, an, an average standard. It's very, everybody's very accepting and encouraging of players that come along because by being there that helps other people and give that gives them the other opportunity to be there as well and, and if they're not there well no game no game for those people that wanted to play and it's similar when you think about the levels of, uh, of aggression in the game you know, perhaps we're used to uh, more competitive football when we're younger and as you get older as you become a dad you've got other priorities right? you've got other priorities and therefore you know you don't want the aggravation that comes with that level of competitive football. Or if you're trying to compete against younger guys, you don't want that level of aggression that would otherwise it'll spoil your game, you won't come back. Right? Or maybe you come for a little while, but before too long, it's not going to be sustainable. And the other sustainable piece of this is because a nice large group, people turning over, making sure the game's on every week. There's no hassle, right? So, you know, as a dad, you're busy all day, you know, probably up at breakfast, helping with the kids, off to work, back at tea time, helping them get settled, always ready for bed. For bed. Who's got time to organise some sport, sporting activity? Not many, right? Yeah, there will be some people and they'll do it for a period. They'll get fed up most likely because of the hassle that comes with it and the challenges of getting people to turn out to make it a reasonable night. So it takes all that hassle away, so, but they're taking all of that hassle, that administration away. They're spending a lot of effort and time to get that big men membership group big enough so that they can put sport events on for you. So I'm hoping you're going to come on board. Now, think of it as something of a movement, you know, one for the dads, you know, giving something a little bit back. I've always felt that you know, as a group of men in this age group, you know, society is more than happy just for us to let us run working all the time. And, and we get forgotten a little, about a little bit. And, and, uh, now, here's a chance now that we can you know, do something for each other, um, give ourselves a chance to you know, meet some other people, play some sport while we do it, maybe even have a beer. Um, and it really breaks up the week, getting some physical activity. You know, one in five men die before they're 65. And I'm trying to do something about that. that, that um, one step at a time, uh, it's a real challenge to, to find the people. And the, and the size of the group, so anything that you can do to encourage other people to come along and to get involved as well, well that help, really helps the local guys, the local organisers. If you want to do some other sports, talk to, talk to the local organiser too, although there are some reasonable challenges, right, because you know, even something as popular as football needs a massive amount of people to keep it on every week. So, so I hope that gives a little bit of information about what we're trying to do, hopefully encourage you to get involved, and uh, 
you know, if, you, if you've got questions or you're interested, you know, get in touch. And, you know, good luck and keep playing. Whatever you decide to do, keep, keep playing sport for as long as you can. You know, as, you get, as you get older, it's more difficult. So if you keep your technique in a little bit, you'll be more encouraged to carry on as you get older. Uh, and also just staying active, getting get those achy muscles occasionally in the morning. It feels great, actually, and it, and it makes the week so much more enjoyable.